Did you know that Indonesia, the world's largest Muslim-majority country, is also home to a significant Christian population? As the nation's intricate tapestry of faiths comes into focus with Prabowo Subianto's recent presidential victory, the dynamics between these religious communities become ever more fascinating. Supported by conservative Muslim groups, Prabowo's leadership marks a new chapter in Indonesia's diverse religious landscape. Stay with us as we uncover 10 compelling facts about Muslims and Christians in Indonesia. Thank you all for being here. Please support us by subscribing to this channel. Fact number one, Indonesia is predominantly Muslim, with approximately 87.1% of the population adhering to Islam and about 9.87% identifying as Christian. According to 2024 data from the United Nations, this translates to roughly 244 million Muslims and 27.6 million Christians living in Indonesia. The remaining population primarily identifies as Hindu, Buddhist, or Confucian. Despite their relatively small share of the overall population, Christians in Indonesia are geographically dispersed and form majorities in several of the country's least populous provinces. Notably, the six provinces on the island of Papua in the far east of Indonesia, which house only 2% of the national population, are home to 15% of the country's Christian population. This significant concentration in specific regions highlights the diverse religious landscape within the nation. The influence of Christians extends beyond their population size as they hold a significant portion of elected positions in government. Approximately 15% of the members of the House of Representatives, known as the DPR, are Christian, as per the official government profiles from 2023. This representation is disproportionately higher compared to their share of the national population, indicating a substantial political influence that Christians wield in the Indonesian political sphere. The interplay between these religious groups within Indonesia underscores a complex social dynamic where minority groups like Christians can exert considerable influence both geographically and politically. While Muslims form the overwhelming majority, the presence and impact of Christians in specific regions and their notable representation in the government illustrate the multifaceted nature of Indonesian society. Fact number two. Muslims and Christians in Indonesia have differing views on the significance of Islam in defining Indonesian identity. According to our 2023 survey of South and Southeast Asia, an overwhelming 87% of Muslims believe that being Muslim is crucial to truly being considered Indonesian. This perspective underscores the deep connection many Indonesian Muslims feel between their faith and their national identity. On the other hand, only 22% of Christians in Indonesia share this belief, indicating a significant divergence in how the two religious groups perceive the role of Islam in their national identity. Moreover, nearly two-thirds, 65% of Muslims in Indonesia, support the idea of making Sharia, or Islamic law, the official law of the land. This further illustrates the profound influence of Islam on the socio-political views of Indonesian Muslims. Fact number three. In Indonesia, both Muslims and Christians tend to perceive religious diversity as a positive force rather than a detrimental one, reflecting the country's long-standing tradition of pluralism. Only 6% of individuals from each religious group believe that the coexistence of diverse religions, ethnicities, and cultures makes Indonesia a less desirable place to live. However, there is a notable difference in how strongly each group values diversity. About 67% of Christians feel that this diversity enriches the nation, fostering a more vibrant and dynamic society, whereas 49% of Muslims share this view, indicating that a larger portion of the Muslim population may have reservations about the impact of diversity on social cohesion. Interestingly, 43% of Muslims feel that the country's religious, ethnic, and cultural diversity neither enhances nor detracts from the nation's quality of life, pointing to a more neutral stance. Additionally, when it comes to interpersonal acceptance, 84% of Christians express willingness to have Hindus as neighbors compared to about two-thirds of Muslims. Fact number four. In Indonesia, 
The preference for democracy transcends religious lines, as evidenced by a 2022 survey highlighting that a vast majority of both Muslims and Christians favor a democratic form of government over authoritarian leadership. When faced with the choice between a democratic form of government and a leader with a strong hand as the optimal means to resolve the nation's challenges, an impressive 85% of both Muslims and Christians voiced their preference for democracy. This overwhelming consensus underscores a shared belief in the value of democratic governance as a pathway to stability and progress, reflecting a deep-seated commitment to democratic ideals among Indonesians. Furthermore, the survey revealed that 76% of Muslims and 71% of Christians believe in the fundamental right to publicly criticize the government when they disagree with its policies. This demonstrates a robust endorsement of freedom of expression, emphasizing the importance of open dialogue and accountability in governance. The alignment between religious groups on these democratic principles speaks volumes about the cohesive societal fabric that prioritizes democratic participation and civil liberties. It reflects a broader aspiration among Indonesians to foster a political environment where the government remains transparent and responsive to the needs and voices of its citizens, ensuring that the country continues to develop in a manner that respects the rights and aspirations of all its people. Fact number five. Indonesia officially promotes freedom of religion, yet it also enforces strict regulations. The country's constitution ensures that Indonesians have the right to choose their own religion and worship according to their beliefs. Simultaneously, the constitution and the state philosophy, Pancasila, emphasize faith in the one and only God. As a result, every Indonesian adult is required to list a religion on their national identity card with no religion not being an option. Those who leave this field blank or choose a religion not recognized by Indonesia's blasphemy law, which includes Islam, Protestantism, Catholicism, Buddhism, Hinduism, and Confucianism, may face challenges in accessing government and financial services. For instance, individuals not aligning with one of the six official religions often encounter bureaucratic hurdles and discrimination. These challenges can manifest in various ways, such as difficulties in obtaining identity documents, securing jobs, or even accessing education and health care. Furthermore, according to news reports, local governments in Indonesia have halted the construction or ordered the demolition of houses of worship belonging to religious minorities. The demolition of worship houses is often justified under various pretexts, such as the absence of building permits or non-compliance with zoning regulations, yet these justifications disproportionately affect religious minorities. This situation creates an environment where minority religious groups feel marginalized and oppressed. A recent Supreme Court ruling has reinforced a 1974 law banning interfaith marriages highlighting the state's control over personal and religious aspects of life. The law prohibits marriages between individuals of different religious backgrounds unless one partner converts to the other's religion. This ruling has significant social implications, as it forces individuals to choose between their faith and their relationships, often leading to conversions that are not genuine but are done out of necessity. Additionally, Indonesia has applied anti-blasphemy laws against its citizens, including high-profile cases such as the former governor of Jakarta. These laws are used to prosecute individuals who are accused of showing disrespect towards the recognized religions. The application of anti-blasphemy laws often stifles freedom of expression and fosters an atmosphere of fear among those who might want to express dissenting views or criticize religious practices. Please comment to let us know your thoughts and questions if you have any. And please support us by liking and subscribing to the channel. Fact number six. Education and interfaith initiatives play a crucial role in promoting understanding and tolerance between Muslims and Christians in Indonesia. Across the country, numerous schools and universities create inclusive environments where students from diverse religious backgrounds can learn and interact together. These educational institutions often organize interfaith dialogue programs and community service projects designed to build bridges between religious communities. These programs provide platforms for students to engage in open discussions about their beliefs, allowing them to find common ground 
and appreciate the differences in their traditions. Community service projects, on the other hand, offer practical ways for students to work together towards common goals, fostering teamwork and mutual respect. By encouraging collaboration and shared learning experiences, these initiatives help to reduce misconceptions and foster mutual respect among Indonesia's diverse population. Additionally, government and non-government organizations support these initiatives by providing resources and creating policies that promote interfaith harmony. Fact number seven. Interfaith marriages between Muslims and Christians, while relatively rare, do occur in Indonesia. These marriages often face significant social and legal challenges due to the country's strict religious laws. For instance, couples in interfaith marriages may struggle to have their unions legally recognized unless one partner converts to the other's religion. This requirement poses a significant barrier as it not only demands a change in religious identity, but also impacts personal beliefs and cultural practices. In addition, the couples may encounter societal resistance facing prejudice and discrimination from both communities. Despite these formidable obstacles, some couples choose to navigate these challenges, reflecting the deep personal bonds that can transcend religious boundaries. They often find ways to celebrate both faiths within their households, fostering an environment of mutual respect and understanding. By doing so, they highlight the potential for harmony and coexistence between different religious groups in Indonesia. Fact number eight. Both Muslims and Christians in Indonesia actively engage in a wide array of charitable activities and social programs, significantly contributing to the nation's overall welfare and development. These religious groups collaborate on numerous projects that range from running hospitals to establishing educational institutions, providing vital services to communities regardless of their religious beliefs. Muslim and Christian organizations often manage hospitals that offer essential medical care and health services to underserved areas, ensuring that even the most remote regions have access to health care. Similarly, by setting up schools and educational programs, these groups work to promote literacy and education among the youth, equipping them with the knowledge and skills necessary to succeed in an increasingly complex and competitive world. The orphanages run by these organizations not only provide shelter and care for vulnerable children, but also create a nurturing environment where children can grow and thrive, instilling values of compassion and empathy. These efforts exemplify a shared commitment to social justice and humanitarian aid, illustrating how religion can be a powerful force for good in society. Fact number nine. The media plays a significant role in shaping perceptions of Muslims and Christians in Indonesia, acting both as a bridge and sometimes a barrier between these diverse communities. Indonesia, known for its rich tapestry of cultures and religions, has the world's largest Muslim population and a significant Christian minority, making the role of media crucial in reflecting and influencing public perceptions. Both religious groups have access to a wide array of media outlets, such as newspapers, television channels, and online platforms, each catering to their specific audiences with content that resonates deeply with their cultural and religious values. These platforms offer a space for religious expression and community building, providing news, discussions, and programs that address the unique concerns and interests of each group. However, the media can also exacerbate tensions by sometimes focusing more on conflicts than cooperation, which can skew public perception and lead to misunderstandings or reinforce negative stereotypes. Fact number 10. Cultural celebrations and religious festivals offer opportunities for Muslims and Christians to share their traditions and foster mutual appreciation. Indonesia's rich tapestry of cultural events, from Islamic holidays like Eid al-Fitr to Christian celebrations like Christmas, allows for vibrant expressions of faith that are often accompanied by public events, parades, and communal gatherings. These occasions provide a platform for people from different religious backgrounds to come together, celebrate diversity, and strengthen the social fabric of the nation. Indonesia a country renowned for its diversity, hosts a variety of cultural celebrations and religious festivals that offer unique opportunities for Muslims and Christians to share their traditions and foster mutual appreciation. 
From the vibrant and festive Eid al-Fitr, marking the end of Ramadan, to the joyous Christmas celebrations, these events are often accompanied by public lanterns, parades, and communal gatherings. Such occasions provide a valuable platform for people from different religious backgrounds to come together, celebrate their diversity, and strengthen the nation's social fabric. Through these shared experiences, Indonesians not only express their faith, but also promote a sense of unity and understanding that transcends religious boundaries. In summary, while there are distinct differences in the religious practices and beliefs of Muslims and Christians in Indonesia, the country's pluralistic society is marked by efforts to promote understanding, tolerance, and cooperation. From education and interfaith dialogue to charitable activities and cultural celebrations, various aspects of Indonesian life contribute to a more inclusive and harmonious coexistence. Despite the distinct differences in the religious practices and beliefs of Muslims and Christians in Indonesia, the nation's pluralistic society is characterized by continuous efforts to foster understanding, tolerance, and cooperation. Education and interfaith dialogue play crucial roles in bridging gaps, while charitable activities and cultural celebrations further enhance the spirit of inclusivity. These diverse aspects of Indonesian life jointly contribute to a more harmonious and cohesive society, where mutual respect and cooperation are highly valued. Thank you all for joining us today. Please comment below and let us know what you think of this content. We are always curious to hear what you think. If you enjoyed this content, please give us a like and subscribe to support us and encourage us to make the next video.